Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part 15 for a step by step guide to learn Angular. So if you are directly coming to this video, I will recommend you to watch previous video and then you can come to this video. These are the topics we are going to cover in this complete video series and uh, this is the application we are going to develop in this video series. So today we are going to talk about curves. So let's start. So this calls uh, stand for cross origin resource sharing. So if you take example of our application, so our application origin UI application origin is, uh, it is at localhost 4200 and our API origin is localhost 44325. So uh, simply if I will take my registration from example, so if I will try to post my registration from, from my localhost 4200 to my API 44325 then it will not allow and I will get an error of calls. So to fix that we are going to uh, enable calls in our API. So let's open Visual Studio and open our API. This is API we developed in the previous video. So now let's go to solution explorer and open startup.cs file and here i'm going to configuration service method and here i'm going to enable calls so let's write some code here service dot i am going to say eight cause and here we are we can see this two overload version so second one is saying to pass some options so let's pass the options and here in the options we can see this at default policy at policy so we are having uh, basically three ways to enable calls. We can use this add policy and make our policy. We can use add default policy or we can use enable calls attributes at our controller or method level. So I am going to use this uh, add default policy. So here we can use see some different overload version. So it's saying uh, we can pass the model builder so let's pass the builder object here and uh, here inside the builder it's asking me we are having different option we can allow any origin we can allow any credentials any methods and let's scroll down any methods so what i want is to allow only my ui uh, origin that is uh, localhost 4200 so let's use this method with origin and inside that let's copy our ui url so this is our ui so let's copy this and uh, it's accepting a string so let's paste it here and one more thing which i want is i want to allow all head headers So I am going to use allow any headers and I want to allow any methods. So let's use this and save this. In the last step, I need to tell my application to use a cause. So this is my application object. So here I'm using method use. calls and let's save this 
So now we have successfully enabled uh, calls for our uh, UI. So let's build our API first. That build is started. Oh, so I'm getting some error. I think I missed to close this bracket. So yeah, we can close it here. That is done. Now again, build, rebuild. Yeah. And let's run our application. Yeah, so it's working fine. Yeah, so that's all for this video. Uh, in the next video, we will post our registration form to our API. Thank you for watching.